We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from FedEx Field. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. This Washington defense, Charles, terrific in the victory a week ago. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. play fake. Here's Lawrence. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage afterwards. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tyron Johnson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw, Fields. This is caught, it's Boyd. Touchdown, Washington. Tyler Boyd, his sixth touchdown of the season. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. point right down the middle and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play each 
team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Even though they might not find the number one seed next to their name come playoff time, there's not going to be very many teams, if any, entering the playoffs on the kind of run they're on. They're hot. And I love that word, hot, because every team in the league wants to go into the playoffs on that uptick. Because a lot of the time, you serve notice to the rest of the league that, hey, we're the team you need to deal with. You're, we're the team that's going to be a real problem for you. And if they can continue this streak, they could very well be that team and gain that confidence that they're seeking as they head to the playoffs. And confidence, that's the word I would use from our meetings with them. They said we're playing our best football right now. It is showing. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. Lawrence will throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Tyron Johnson, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Jaguars on just two plays have taken the lead. Two able to connect on the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. On second and nine, Fields. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. First down, it's Fields. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They go with Chubb on second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. From the 40 now on second down. Fields escaping the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away, and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Now it's Fields, forced out to his left. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 17-yard line. For the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Play action. Fields drops it off for Chubb. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. down marker a nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot he'll wind up getting four yards there on his own but it also brings up fourth down Take possession here on the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw complete here, pulled in by Howard. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Play action. It's Lawrence. 
That'll be caught. It's the tight end, Howard. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Targeting Godwin once more, this time complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Look at me, zipper. Lawrence gonna throw again. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Montez Sweat in there to bury him for a loss of 11. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four 
Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Second and four. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Working with a second and four. Here's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Well, that was big right there because they're the bottom five in the league in converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Now a first down throw, Fields. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. <laughs> Throwing on third down, Fields flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Out to the left there and complete to Howard. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Jaguars out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
They run. Chubb. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything. Change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done sometimes when you open things up a little bit. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Here's Fields. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing, they're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Yo, yo, faster! Let's pick up. It's out of time, guys. It's out of time. Let's get off the field. We need to get bombers. We need to get bombers. Get, get, get. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Sharks got it left side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They go play action now. Lawrence. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. O.J. Howard with touchdown number seven on the year. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Back to the airfields on second down. Flushed out right. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 
We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Fields on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter. And they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Off play action. Fields. Eluding the pressure. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Jags grab it. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. You know I do my research, right? And I go all the way back to the best coaches that have ever been in this game. And all of them started with ball security in some form or another, understanding that taking care of the ball was the key to winning games. They can't believe what they're seeing right now because they spend all this time on it with the fundamentals, taking care of it, tucking it away, and they're not doing it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now Lawrence on first down. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. And they'll run with ETN. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Second and goal from the one. Try to run with ETN. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On third and goal, Lawrence. And that ball is caught by DJ Chark for the Jags touchdown. D.J. Chark, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken in at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, man, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Washington on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. 
the gun fields dancing to his left nothing open downfield so he'll throw it away at this point down big you'd have to imagine this defense they're just going to sit back blanket the field as best they can yeah this is actually the easy part of the game for them because just as you noted they can sit back keep everything in front of them but they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages They snap it to Fields. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A big connection on that one. 38 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Chubb will get the call running left, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. to the ground this time cook and tackled down after a gain of three leaves him with one yard to go on third down just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up on third down it's nick chubb and chubb fighting but nowhere to go he's going to be stopped short of that first down marker he needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Running for it, here's Chubb, and he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. They'll run with Chubb. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Nick Chubb, touchdown number 15 of the year. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. come to the line to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Look at me. 
Here's Lawrence. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. They go play action with Lawrence. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. That one looks like he'll throw here. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. From the 38, Lawrence. That one complete. He finds Shark. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. On first down, Lawrence. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Takes it at the seven. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. A play fake, now fields to throw. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Get that ball. Get that ball. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields going out wide, finds Chubb. And he'll be out right at the 35. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Fields to throw on third and one. 
Steps away to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. Here we go on fourth down, Fields. He's going to let it fly. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play fake. Here's Lawrence. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Gardner, we've heard it once, we've heard it a thousand times. Don't throw late down the middle. And he did. We see the end result. Yeah, what you have to do is you've got to make sure you manipulate those defenders with your eyes and your head, maybe even some body movement to move them a little if you're going to come back late down the middle. And one last throw here for Fields. Flushed out right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and, hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Jacksonville, they get yet another victory to finish the year at 14-3 and overall. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. <laughs> Meanwhile, for Washington, they'll limp to the finish line a bit with a final record of 5-12. and And with some high picks coming in this spring's draft, it's a team for whom a roster overhaul may be on the way. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.